What's going on guys, TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of ARK Survival Evolved. We're playing a crazy, oh my god, what is in front of us? Look at all of this. Holy cow, what do you get, what do you get ourselves into today? So check it out guys, we're on a brand new map, the Ebonus Astra map. Check it out, and we're spawning right into a crazy area. Oh, oh, yep, nope. Oh, we're getting first death? Yep, that was quick. <laughs> 340 Raptor, welcome to the game. Guys, TBF Gaming, welcome back to a brand new episode of Ark Survival Evolved. We're playing a brand new series today on the Ebonus Astra map. That's right, guys. Brand new map, brand new series. Cannot wait to get into it. So today we are playing with Ark Eternal. We're playing with Gaia. We're mixing those two giant mods together uh, along with the Ebonus Astra map. And we've got a really cool mod pack for this season. I cannot wait to get started. Uh, let's go ahead and create our new tribe. We're going to join up with the adventurers here in a day or two. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and create our tribe. Bam. All right. This is going to be an exciting season. I cannot wait to get started here. Oh, my God. What is over there? Oh, my God. Are you coming this way? That looks like a wolf. Run time, guys. Run, 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 run. Uh, we're probably going to get our first death right away. This is Arc Eternal, which you know means we are going to die a lot. There are bad things everywhere. There are dangers around every single corner. Look down there. Holy cow. What in the world? Oh, my God, guys. We're going to die so many times. There are going to be bad things many, many times over. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait to get into this. So check it out, guys. We've got a couple things going on. We are on the Ebonus Astra map. Brand new map. Now, you guys have seen it a couple times. I see a special ant, even. Holy cow. Oh, there's a raptor. Probably going to eat us. Uh, this is probably going to be yet another death for us. We just spawned in. We already got a raptor chasing us. This is a thing. Our stamina is almost gone. Okay. Oh, there it is. It's over. It's over. Level 200 Raptor. All right, so let's talk about, as we respawn here yet again, we'll go ahead and talk about some of the mods on here. Let's go. Uh, I wanted to go into the Dodo area, but we might have to move. Let's try this one. This will be the third attempt here. Let's respawn here. Jungle 3, Raptor difficulty. A little more difficult. Could be bad when we first log in. Let's kind of look around, and then we'll talk about the mod playlist. We'll talk about some of the things we got going on for this season. It's going to be, oh, my God, what is that? Look at that guy. He looks amazing. Oh, there's so many bad things. There are spinos everywhere. Okay, we're kind of on this cliff. Are we going to be safe on the cliff for at least 30 seconds so we can talk about the mods? Hopefully. What's over there? An enforcer. There we go. That's more fun. All right, so check it out. Here's what we got going on. Like I said, we're playing Gaia. We're playing Arc Eternal. We've got some other mods on the server. I'm pulling up the little list right now so I can tell you guys all about it uh, so we can talk about all the settings and the stuff on the server. All right, back in the window. So we have... 13 mods right now. Not not a huge mod list, but enough mods to give us a little bit of a fun time. It's going to be a lot of fun. Let's get some of that early arc stuff while we're talking about this. So 13 mods. The basic settings on the server, I've changed almost everything across the board. All kinds of stuff. My I and I is going to be kind of crazy. If you guys go to the link in the description down below, I'll try to post my I and I in there so you guys can see what's up with that. Uh, but yeah, the I and I has definitely been changed a lot. Difficulty is set to, I think, times 20, although Arc Eternal already sets everything to max level 600 on dinos anyway. So right now we're sitting with level 600 dinos. So absolutely awesome. It's going to be a lot of fun. The XP is only times three. So we're not going to level up super, super fast. I'm just kind of looking around the area as we move around here. We're not going to level up super fast. It won't be out of control. Just times three. Taming is like times 10. Uh, gather is times five, I believe. Uh, we had set it to times 10. We lowered it back down to, to a little bit lower. We did a whole lot of testing this last day or two. And it is actually almost balanced we still got a few things to kind of fix and kind of work out the kinks on but i'm really happy so far with the overall kind of balance of the server so far i'm, I'm really excited to see how this works out now we'll continue to adjust it as the season goes and we'll kind of see what's going on in terms of, of how well we did balance it so let's go ahead and get our initial stuff going we've got a, a level already so let's throw the level down here let's go movement speed because we're clearly going to be running a lot and then we'll talk about the actual stats so the stats for the leveling up Health is plus 25 or something like that, 20 or 25. Melee is melee and movement speed will be about plus 7.5 each level. Weight will be a little bit higher. And then across the, the rest of them don't really matter. Fortitude, I'm not really sure. I haven't, I haven't pumped that one yet, so we don't know. Uh, but that, that's what we're doing in terms of the settings. The other mods that we're playing with, obviously the Arc Eternal, the Arc Eternal Elemental Expansion, the Arc Eternal Structures, and then 
the Gaia, uh, G-A-I-A. We're playing with that mod on here, so there's some cool, awesome dinos in that one as well. And the there's a little bit of crossover between the creators of the two mods. You got LK with uh, Arc Eternal and Prome with Gaia, and they both worked on Arc Eternal at one point, and then Prome went over to Gaia. And I think I'm quoting that right. Hopefully I'm getting that right. Uh, we also have, of course, the Evanus Astra map. We have awesome spyglass, awesome teleporters, structures plus, like always, 100k stacks, dino pickup mod, kibble vending, dino storage, and bulk crafters. And I think I added in the Wurcat spoiling bin as well. So that's what we got going there. Uh, all kinds of other settings are all over the place in terms of what we change. Just trying to make it a little bit more fun. We'll have to kind of see how that balances out as we go. All right, let's get our, our pickaxe real quick. All right, we'll go ahead and craft. Oh, we don't even have stone yet. I bet there's no stone to grab up here, is there? I was kind of running around like crazy, not really doing a good job of looking for stone. No, not grabbable. Man, oh man, I really, really need a stone here. Hmm. I'm a little nervous going further up the hill here. This is not a good idea. We'll do it anyway, though. We got it. We got to find some stone. So, this series, we are going to have the adventurers on the server, as always. Uh, we're also going to open this up to our patrons. Uh, there, we've got a few patrons that are on the our other server. That I'm definitely going to open this up as well. So that is going to be a thing. Now we have, uh, and then in the future I may open it up further after the, after that. But for right now, that's who we're allowing on the server to start with. Oh, Raptor, can you get to me? Please say you can't get to me. There you go. Come on, get up there. Get up there. Let's go. Oh, he sounds close. <laughs> Don't let him get you. Come on. We're trying to like Minecraft up the hill here. It's not working. Okay, he's far enough away. We're okay. There we go. Come on. Yeah, there we go. We're doing some cliff jumping here. There we go. Yeah, <laughs> victory. All right, so the... Uh, oh, man, other stuff on the server. That's the main stuff. That's the main stuff we want to talk about. Let's talk about the Evidence Astra map real quick. Let me show you this. This is amazing. So if you hit the H button, it shows you the information that's on the screen. If you look in the bottom right, there's a little symbol there that says EA Interactive Menu. This is pretty cool. You hit the F6 button, uh, like a so, and you get the little Evidence Astra little uh, help page, whatever you want to call this. Hopefully we're in a cool place so I don't get attacked while we're looking at this. It's got the welcome, the basic map information. I'm not going to run you through this, but if you ever check out the map, definitely come in here. Some of the custom dinos. There's some actual custom dinos on this map, which are absolutely awesome. There's custom items. There's a shop, some kind of shop where you can actually go in and buy stuff from the other places like Extinction, Scorched Earth, the Island, Evanus Astrum, uh, Aberration, etc., etc. Uh, you got some custom items, specific things within the Evanus Astrum game. There's specific caves. Now, they don't have all the caves open yet. they got upcoming caves. There's quite a few that they're working on. We also have the artifact caves, which I think these ones are all ready to go. I'm not 100% sure. Forgotten World Caves, I don't know if those are done yet. It looks like they've got the picture on one but not on the other, so that might mean that those ones aren't done yet. I'm not for sure on that, so don't quote me on that. So that's what's going on there. Really, really cool. Definitely go check out their mod page. I'll make sure that's in the link description down below uh, as well because the Evanus Astrum, Arc Eternal, and Gaia are kind of the main focus of this playthrough. Uh, we want to play Arc Eternal again, but we also want to throw something new in, which is why we threw the guy in. I, I don't feel like I've gotten through all the Arc Eternal stuff, so I wasn't ready to move on from a playthrough with that. But we also want to provide everyone else with a little bit of fun with some new stuff, and I, I just felt like Gaia was the right one. Now, Gaia doesn't match up with Arc Eternal in terms of the strength of the dinos. Arc Eternal is over the top, destroy everything, uh, grab a dino and just eat everything on the map, and it's a lot of fun. Gaia is a little more slow paced, so the dinos are not as strong. So what we've done in the actual settings, we've changed uh, all those dinos to somewhere between plus 5 and plus 10. I don't remember what the final number that we settled on was, but it's that we've bumped them up a little bit, hoping that it's going to help out. I really hope that it's going to somewhat balance it out. I know it's not going to be perfect, but dang, we might not be able to get up there. I really wish we had a grapple hook already. <laughs> it's not, it's not going to be a thing. Uh, but I would love to stay up on this hill over here. You see all that metal over there, but I also don't want to build in a place where we're going to ruin the metal nodes for everyone else. So we don't want to do that. Watch us get stuck to start the series. Is that how we're going to do? Oh, no. Okay, hold on. We can get out of here. You can do this. Oh, man, are you serious? <laughs> this is going to be a disaster. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh, no. Oh, man, if this is how we start it. Don't ever let me hear the end of this if this is how we start. There we go. Yeah, we're out. We're free. There we go. Let's jump down here. We're going to die just jumping down. But we got to get to some more stuff down here. What is down there? There's something on fire. Is that an eternal thing? Is it a bad thing? Let's go see. I'm going to go look. It'd probably eat us. 
<gasps> it's a oh you know what that's what's going on we've got the valentine's day event that's kind of cool let's see if we can tame up our first monkey let's do it man all right let's let's do this we'll get our first tame so if nothing else we'll have one tame hopefully plus we can test out how fast the taming is set up right now so that could be a definitely a thing we still don't have stone oh there's a rock there's a rock yeah give me the rock there we go now i can probably make a pickaxe yeah there we go man we're in business we've just beat the game we've got a pickaxe coming we can log off now we're done with evidence astrum we've done all we can do all right let's go ahead and get our stuff for an axe real quick we want to at least make that there we go. So we're going to explore some of this mod together. We'll get some of the, the initial stuff done real quick. We'll build us a little uh, temporary hut. And then hopefully either the end of this episode or next episode we'll join up with the adventurers. They're already on the map. They got a head start on me this morning. I had to go to work and uh, we're in different time zones. So we're able to play a little bit. Hopefully I'll get caught up with them pretty quickly. All right. Let's get this. Uh, let's get some Mijo berries over here. Oh, I wish we had some eternal berries already, but we don't. All right, very, very sneaky. Only level 60, so it shouldn't be too bad, right? Look like about 27. Very, very cool. Oh, look at that. Otto's joining the arc. Very cool. All right, let's keep sneaking on this guy. I think three more feedings. Three more feedings. Wait till it's hungry. Come on. Oh, there, there it is. Bam. All right, sneak away, sneak away. There we go. We're going to get this guy tamed up. I'm going to get us a cool little colorful monkey, and then we'll be able to move on and do something else. Got to at least get this done. Let's grab some more berries. Come on. This is an interesting area. We've got the bamboo and stuff. Very cool. We could build in this little alcove back here. I feel like it'd be somewhat safe. All right, 68%. Probably two more feedings. So not too bad. At level 60, it's not great, great rates. It's not super high. I didn't want to make it crazy high this season. A little bit lower than what we usually play with. XP is going to be way lower, so it's going to take a lot longer to get the levels than we did in the past. That's going to make it a little bit more fun. Kind of slow down the progression just a little bit before we get into some of the top level stuff. All right. Yeah, 90%. One more. One more, and then we will go feed this other monkey, too. Look at this other monkey right there. We're going to do this right now. We're going to go double monkey tame. A little, ooh, this one will be a little bit longer. 240. Oh, man, I can't. I couldn't see the bar. That's okay. All right, let's go get our buddy. Here we go. First little buddy. First monkey. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come here. Yeah. There we go. First monkey on the server for us. There we go. Level 89. Super amazing little color guy. All right. Whoa. Where are you going, man? Stop. Stop, 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 stop. All right. There we go. Male level 89. What is up, man? Yeah. Hold on. We're going to name this guy right now. Level 89. He's Valentine's color. Here we go. We'll go TVFG. Oh, not lowercase. Hold on. TVFG. And we'll go Valentino. Little Valentino. Little smooth little guy. What's up, man? Yeah, let's go. Let's go tame a friend, buddy. Oh, nope. Don't you come after me. Stay away, bug. All right, so is this a, is this a female? Yeah, this is a female. We'll get a male-female pair going right away. All right, there we go. And I know this doesn't fit into, like, the Arc Eternal stuff. This is not, like, some super crazy amazing tame. We're going to get into that this season. Trust me on that. It's going to be a lot of fun. I cannot wait. But we gotta got to get some of this starter stuff going. Got to get the starter stuff. Like I said, really excited to see this. Let's see. what. Where's your where's your bar at? Come on. Uh, 23%. All right, this is going to take just a minute. We'll get us some stuff made up in between as we're following this guy around. No, don't don't scare him. All right. We'll do this. We'll get some clothes made up real quick. I think I can learn the axe real quick. All right. So let's go like so. Let's go ahead and learn that initial stuff. We'll get the S plus stuff later. We'll get some of the dino soul stuff later. Uh, soul finder. That's pretty cool. Soul gun. Wow. What is that? Soul finder. Interesting. That's pretty cool. All right. Uh, campfire. Here we go. Campfire. Hatchet. Spear. Poison spear. Whoa, check that out. Must be that's one of the Gaia things. For that though, we need narcotics. So we're not there yet, that's for sure. Uh, level up counter. There we go. Spoiling bin. Cool. Uh, all kinds of other cool stuff on here. I think we'll leave it for right now. Bulk arc fuel. Some tech stuff. All kinds of stuff. The grappling hook. You know we gotta have that. Gots to have that. All right. Um, uh oh. Has anyone seen my monkey? <laughs> we didn't just ask that. Pay no attention. All right, here it is. Here it is. Here it is. 
All right. 240, man. We'll have some little attack monkeys. If nothing else, we'll have something to get eaten with us when we start getting attacked by all these bad things in this mod. Cannot wait to get out here and actually see what's going on. It's going to be a lot of fun. So, we just kind of finished up. Uh, we're st we still got a couple things we want to do over there, but we're pretty much finished up over on the Ark Eternal server. That was a lot of fun on that one. That one's definitely open if you guys want to check that out. We're playing on the center map with Ark Eternal on that one. It was a lot of fun. We got through so many things. We evolved so many creatures. And still, somehow, despite how much we did... There's still creatures that I missed out on that I didn't get a chance to see within the Eternal mod, which is why we went ahead and played with them once again. All right, there you go, 54%, halfway there. Halfway there. I guess we could go ahead and make some clothes. We just got another level. I think this unlocks clothes, right? All right, let's go a little bit of health so we don't die instantly. And then, yeah, there we go. Get the clothes unlocked. Now, I do have a ridiculous amount of Ingram points. I made it to where we get quite a bit per level, like 300 and something per level early on, and then it changes later on. Just that way, we can unlock all the stuff. Because we're playing with this many mods, uh, you, you run into the problem of running out of Ingram points really fast. Hopefully, we do not have that problem. We will have to see. Oh, no, no. Don't get mad. Don't get scared. 62%. We're getting there. We're getting there. All right. So, we need, we need the axe. We need a couple of spears. We need a cloth hat, pants, shirt, S plus campfire, and a torch. There we go. All the things getting made up. We'll make up everything right away. And then we'll probably, you know what? This is not like a bad little alcove right here. We can build in this little area right here. Make a little thatch hut. And then hopefully survive just a little bit. What kind of, is that a regular trike up there? If that's a regular trike, we can go kill the trike and actually get some stuff for that. Here we go. Bam. We got 70%. A few more feedings here. All right, let's go ahead and get our guy dressed. Yeah, there we go. Legs, hat, and shirt. Look at that. Bam, we're clothed, man. Look at us. We're doing some things. There we go. Hold on. How we stand up. There we go. Brand new monkey friend. All right, let's do this. There we go. Come on, come on. There you go. Almost done. Man, I hate sneaking around chasing these little monkey guys. But that's not too bad a percentage for the tame. I'm thinking that's not too bad at all. Oh, what is that? Oh, man, what is that? Is that? I think it might be a Therizino. Let's not go down there. we got a little bit of metal right there to the side. That'll help out. We've got whatever that trike is up there. Hopefully it's just like a vanilla trike that we could take out and get a little bit of hide off of it. Because that's going to be the shortfall early on is a little bit of hide. We need hide to make like all the early game stuff. Come, come on, man. I want to see how much... Should be... Oh, I can't see it. 85? Cool. Alright, 85%. There we go. Oh, man. One, maybe two more feedings, and this guy be good to go. And then we'll have our first pair of battle monkeys. Alright? And then we're going to leave them on breeding and get about a thousand of these. We'll get all the monkeys. <laughs> no, we won't do that. We won't do that. There's so many other better tames in this game. It's just monkey's a cool little first companion to get to go with us. But yeah, there it is. Meso 357. What's up, little buddy? Okay, stop. Where are you guys going, man? Alright, let's get us a little hut going. We need at least a little mini hut so we can get into some things here. Let's get all the thatch. The gather rates should be pretty good. Like I said, it's times five, but I think it'll go pretty fast, especially once you start getting into some of the, the Gaia or the Eternal tools. You can gather all kinds of stuff, so it shouldn't be bad at all. Should not be a problem. There we go. All right, let's get a hatchet. Oh, we already have a hatchet. What we do? Oh, dang it. Okay, that's fine. We have a second one. Put our spears down here. Put our torch down here. And let's get into some thatch stuff. Have I even unlocked thatch yet? I have not. I got to get level four. All right, we might have to go battle. I don't know. Let me see. What level are you? If you're like a crazy high level... We won't miss. 560. <laughs> okay. Not going to happen. Not going to happen. So until we get into the level, there's not much we can do. How far are we away? Not too, too far. All right. So let me do a little bit of gathering. I'm going to gather just a little bit, and then we're going to do a couple things, and then we will move on to uh, building of a thatch, little thatch hut, and then we'll get into some more things today. Hopefully, we'll go out and get ourselves a better team. There's so many cool teams out here. I don't know if we're going to get into taming in the first episode, but if not, we'll have ourselves a little mini hut here in the corner. All right. All right, guys, there we go. We just unlocked level four. We're going to go ahead and make up some thatch foundations and stuff, but let's get a little monkey friends. 
We're going to move over here. I'm, I'm kind of afraid that something's going to fall off up there and come down and kind of take over and eat us. So we're going to grab our buddies here. Oh, whoa, what's up, man? Hold on, let's try this again. Pick up that guy. And that that girl. There we go. We got Valentino and Valentina. What's up, guys? Come on with? Come on. Come on. There we go. We're going to go over here on this ledge. There's this kind of good ledge over here. I think this would be a good spot. Come on. Yep, right out here. If I can get up on top of that ledge right there, I feel like that's going to be a slightly better spot than where we're at right there. I don't know if I can get up there, though. I'm kind of worried that I can't make it. We shall see. We will get close enough, and we'll find out from there. Oh, maybe. I think I can pull a little hop, skip, and a jump up there. Let's go. Nothing above us. Monkey's still coming. Come on, buddy. All right. Wait right there. See if we can make this. Here we go. Super jump. Go. <laughs> okay, not the best jump. Good first try. Good first try. There we go. Jump. Yeah, first try. First try. <laughs> sort of. All right. Let's knock this out of the way, and we'll build a little bit of a foundation right here. This looks like a good little spot for metal, though. I don't know if I should build right here. I don't know. You know what? It's okay. We'll build right here for right now. If there's not, not too many resource spots open, we will come back and we'll delete our stuff out of the way. We'll, we'll demolish it. This is just a starter base spot, so it's not too big of a deal. There we go. While we're doing that, let's go ahead and get ourselves some foundations going. Oh, we got to get our other stuff going. Hold on. Let's go. So health is 20 per... We're going to go more speed because we need speed. We're going to be running away from everything. Let's go ahead and learn our level 4 stuff. All the storage box, all the thatch stuff. There we go. There we go. And there we go. Is that everything? And a sleeping bag. Okay. All right. I think we're pretty good to go. That will work. Let's finish knocking this out of the way. And, oh, wait, what were we doing? And foundations. We'll probably start really simple. We'll go with like a, uh, maybe a three by three. Super, super simple first house. There we go. Looking pretty good. I think we'll take that. Go ahead and place this down here. And what time is it? Our daytime should be set to go fairly slowly, so we got a lot of daytime on this map. I'm not 100% sure on that. Uh, but the daytime should go slow, and then nighttime should go fairly fast, kind of like in the past. Look at that over there. That is a cool-looking trike way over there. There's some purple stuff down there. Yeah, we just... I have no idea. I have no idea. We don't know anything about this map. I've intentionally made sure that we don't really research much on this kind of stuff because I really like to kind of figure it out blind. Uh, as we get further in, I'll start doing some of the actual research on the stuff. But for right now, it's just kind of fun to do this a little blind. All right, there we go. Let's go on this side. Perfect, okay? Let's go ahead and knock this out of the way. How many walls are we going to need? We're going to need one, so three, six. Yeah, three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus two doorways. All right. Doorway times two. And then 10, 20, 21, 20, 22 total walls. Let's go 22 walls. And then ceilings will need nine as well. There we go. Perfect. All right. Give me one second to get all that. Uh, it builds up, and then we'll place it real quick, and then we'll have our first mini house. All right, guys, let's go ahead and place our stuff. We got enough to go ahead and get it going here. So we'll place a doorway on each side. There's one, so one on this side. And I know this is not the most exciting base stuff, but we want to include most of the early stuff, most of the stuff that we do this first day. We'll kind of do it all together, and then uh, as we go along, the episodes will get a little bit shorter. We're trying to stick to that like. You know, 15 to 25 minute mark if I can. Sometimes it'll go a little longer. Sometimes it'll go a little shorter, just depending on what we have going on that day. There we go. Looking pretty good. Let's go second row. There we go. All right. One more there. One more there. And then let's go ceilings like so. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and almost done. And nine. Yeah, there we go. Starter hut complete. Look at that. We've defeated the game. We're no longer naked and afraid. We have clothes. We have a house. And we got little monkey friends. Life is good. Check it out, guys. All right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and try to message Otto real quick and see what's going on. See if we can figure out where they're actually at. I know it's – actually, I don't know anything. I know it's somewhere not here. 
It might just be right down there. I'm not really sure. But let me send the coordinates for the auto. We'll try and talk and see exactly where he's at. All right, guys, check it out. We got the ultimate gift from auto. We got, first off, we got some dino soul traps. So we can actually use those to take uh, our monkey buddies over to the actual base with the other people. We also got some hide, which we definitely needed. Something that's a little hard to get early on, especially since we can't attack much. Let's go a little bit of stamina, kind of help out with that whole running theme that we're going with early on. And now we can make a couple more things. We got a slingshot, so we can maybe knock something out. Uh, bulk narcotic, bulk tool. Oh, I can't learn that until we learn regular narcotic. Same with that one. Yep. Bulk torch. Nope. Bulk grinder. Nope. Bulk tools. Nope. <laughs> so each one of those we can't actually learn until we learn the one below it. That's kind of weird. Uh, but we can do the thatch stuff. Let's do the thatch stuff. Like so, like so, wooden sign we don't really need. I uh, think that's about it. We got to get to level six so we can get to the actual narcotic. Once we can make the narcotic, we can go back and make the poison spear and maybe knock something out, maybe knock something out. All right, so there we go. So we got the hide. Now we can make at least a sleeping bed. All right, uh, craft, sleeping bed. I just need a little bit of fiber. Let's go get some fiber. We'll go get some fiber and thatch. We'll do a quick run over here to get some more supplies. And then we'll throw down a, at least one storage bin, and we'll throw down at least one sleeping bag. That way we can respawn for the first time. There we go. And we might make a run for it to try and make it over to the actual where the guild's over there, the adventurers. They're over there somewhere. Let's see. There we go. Let's get a little bit of that fiber. Bam. A little bit more over here, and then we'll grab all, all the thatch, too. There we go. All right. So let's make a storage chest. The S plus version like so, and then we'll make a sleeping bag like so. And then we're going to save the rest. I don't want to waste any of the rest. We already got a campfire, so we'll do that here in a second as well. There we go. Get this crafted up. We'll go place that, and then we'll maybe adventure just a little bit. We've got to get to at least uh, the level where we can make like the uh, at least the eternal grappling hook so we can do a little bit of grappling and actually kind of traverse around these, these little cliffs and stuff. I think that'd be a lot of fun. That always helps out early on. There we go. Also, we learned that you don't actually have to jump. You can make it up right here. But that whole jumping thing was fun anyway. All right. So let's go with the sleeping bag. We should probably make some doors, too. That might be a good idea. Let's make a little bit of storage over on this side. Like so. And like so. And then we need a campfire. Like so. And then doors, if we can. S plus door, S plus door. Bam, look at that. We're doing all the things. Uh, we could probably, we should probably make a one water thing too. Just, we'll use some thatch for that. And definitely a spoiling bin, even though we don't have any meat to throw in it just yet. There we go. All right. Let's go over here. And we're going to place most of the rest of the stuff down. Let's drop all the skin stuff, uh, minus the hat. We're going to drop all the rest of this junk. There we go. And then we're going to place all the big stuff over here. Like that. There we go. Place pretty much everything. There we go. Let's take that back. Let's take that back. And we can place that and place those. All right. So here we go. Doors. Bam. We've got doors. We're super secure. Even though pretty much everything on the map can destroy our house in like one shot. Uh, let's see. We can place the spoiling bin down right over next to the fireplace. And then I think on the next level, as soon as we get another level, we can actually do uh, the mortar pestle, which would be awesome. All right, throw our cowboy hat on so we're super adventurer style. Put that down on our thing. All right, guys. Let's go see if we can at least kill something. We got to kill something, get another level here, and then we can start making some, some kind of taming something with that spear at least. Okay, don't fall down in the water. I don't know what's... There might be a baryonyx or something crazy down there. Look at that Therizino, man. Hold on, here we go. Level 400, holy cow. Even the ants are too high level for us. All right, there's a pretty cool looking trike over there. All right, man, I would love to tame some of these. Hopefully, we can get kind of quickly to this kind of stuff. Just got to be a little bit careful. I don't know what all is down here. Oh, Listro, what's up, Listro guy? Just a regular old Listro. All right, uh, there is a raptor down there. So it looks like we're not going that way. Is that an eternal anklo? Oh, man. I think there's an Anki down there. There's all kinds of crazy Spino guys. 
Oh, scared the crap out of me. <laughs> a little trike over here. So many cool things. All the cool stuff. Looks like a Stego, a Moss Chomps, Fiomia. <gasps> Is the Fiomia trapped? Hold on, the Fiomia might be trapped. We might be able to do this. Anything attacking me? I think we're okay. Fiomia level 60? Yeah, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh, oh. <gasps> oh my god, guys, we just got killed by a Fiomia. <laughs> this is super embarrassing. Oh, there we go. So there's the actual... There's our buddies over there. They're not... They're really close. So we actually spawned fairly close. Very cool. Uh, I was thinking we were further away than that. So let's go... Let's go ahead and spawn over there. We'll kind of see what kind of progress they're making. All right. Let's go to the simple bed. So that was awesome. <laughs> we killed by a Fiomia. <laughs> I hope we're not the only person to ever die from a Fiomia. It's kind of embarrassing. Oh, look at that. They got a big old wooden house. Man, they already got, they already have a Dodicarus. They've got a Bulldog. Uh, they've got a Dillo. Man, they're so fast. They, they tame all the things. Moonless Knight. Look at that guy. Very, very cool. <gasps> Look at their Jaboa. What's up, man? They've got all the tames. So we're not too far from them at all. Okay, there's the waterfall. That's the island that we started on. Very, very cool. All right, let's go. We're going to look around just a little bit, and then we'll go get into some things here. It's definitely new. I've never seen them. I didn't... Oh, God. Oh, compies. Okay. Yep. I, I see you all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going to die. 220 compie. Man, oh, man, oh, man. <laughs> the typical arc start. This is what it is. All right. Let's, uh... Which one is the closest to us? Probably that one. Hopefully, we can make it back over here. I'll see you guys back at base in just a second. All right, guys. We spawned in some little area right here that's got, like, a pyramid. Check this out. Can we go up this thing? I don't know what this is. This is fairly interesting looking. Let's go around and kind of look at it. Just a little pyramid kind of in the middle of everything. Can I, I can't seem to get up it. I don't know. I've definitely never seen this. Ooh, what is that? That's a Carno fighting a Kentro. <laughs> We're about to be food again. We've died quite a few times. It's going to keep happening. There we go. Yep, can't get up there. I don't know that there's a way out of it. Oh, there, we, there you go. There you go. Run, guys, run. Okay, we're still okay. Oh, man. We can't go anywhere, but it looks like some kind of cave. What is it? Hmm. Interesting. That's not good. Oh, could we actually tame this guy? Let's see if we can do it one time. Poison. Oh, my God, we got it. Oh, no, 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 no. Run, dude. Can we ride you? No, we can't. Can you keep us safe, though? There you go, guys. Elemental Poison Hyena Don. What's up, man? Let's get a picture of it before we both die. Perfect. <laughs> it probably won't be a long-lived tame. Oh, uh, man. That was cool. It does have, like, a little entrance on it, but I don't know how to get up it. I really wish we could ride you. Oh, we can. <gasps> oh, it's on, guys. We're out of here. We're running. Can we go? Can we run up this? Oh, we can run up the thing, too. Yeah. There we go. We're on top of the world, guys. <laughs> there we go. Let's see if we can get a little picture of that. Yeah, there we go. The freaking hyena dawn, man. All right, so we got our first ride, man. We're doing some things. Let's get back here. Get a little picture of this guy. I don't know that I've tamed one of these guys. Oh, you know what? I did in the last season at the very, very end. I don't know if I did it for a video. How do we get out of here? That's the next question. I don't know if we can... Let me go look around. Go right over here. We're going to find a way out of here. Trying to avoid this uh, Carno. Oh, the Carno is pretty much dead. Man. If I can sneak in there and get a couple bites on it. There we go. We're going to sneak a kill. Maybe. Oh, wait. No, we're not. He's got a lot of health. Uh, I don't think that's going to happen. Not going to happen there. So, yep, yeah, don't know if we can get out of here. This might be our death trap. We might be here forever. I just don't know where we can go. All right, guys, so let's see if this is a thing. Uh, we just we had true messaging us real quick here. So let's throw that on there. How much is it going to be per bite? Oh, 0.4. That is not going to make it. Man, oh, man, we need more meat. Hold on. 
120 times 0.4, definitely not enough. Man, it's going to be somewhat close. Is there anything else in this valley that we could eat? Because there's no way we're taking out the Kentro. The Kentro is not going to be a thing. Uh, real quick, though, we did almost get ourselves a way out of here, hopefully. We're going to see. We're going to see if there's a way. There we go. And then we shall get... Oh, we need more fiber. More fiber. Hold on. And then we can do one more slope roof, and then we should have a way out, I hope. Hopefully, hopefully. There we go. Slope roof. All right. Let's place this on here. I don't know if I need to turn this around, but we're going to pick this one up, and we'll place it backwards, like so. And then we will go like that. There we go. Does that give us a way out? Let's find out. Oh, my bad. Right. Okay. Come on. Get up, buddy. We got to test this out. Is it not going to be? I don't think it's going to be tall enough. Oh, no. We might not be able to make it. How are you doing? There you go. Bite him again. Make him stay asleep. I don't want. I don't care if it kills his levels. If we can come back and get him, we will. But more important than that, we just don't want him to wake up. All right, guys. I've almost got enough stuff built. I'm a little worried that this isn't actually a way out. We'll find out in just a second. I've got a little more foundation to place here. And then I'm hoping I can place a sloped roof off of that. Uh, thatch slope roof. I don't even know if this is going to get us out of here. It might not. Uh, let's see. Can I not place you? Come on, man. Oh, let me place it. Hmm. It is not a thing. Let me see. Is there any way we can trick this? Maybe if we go like this? No? If we go like that and then place it, can I place it off the bottom? I cannot. Dang it. Um, let's go like this. There we go. Maybe now we can get up there. Hold on. Thatch wall. Oh, well, what are we doing? We're not very smart. Let's just do this. There we go. Bam. Okay. Here we go. Let's test it. It doesn't look like it goes quite to the top. Now, we got attacked by a saber down here. Like a saber must have fallen from the roof or something like that. And we were able to get that. Oh, no. Come on. Yeah, we're up. Please tell me this leads out. If it doesn't, we're just stuck forever. Oh, well, hey, at least we got an explorer note. This is the thing. There we go. Explorer note. Yay. <laughs> doesn't do much else for us. Uh, it gives us some extra levels, I guess. That's a good thing. We need that, but uh, we're probably going to have to die in here. So what we'll do is I'll probably throw our hyena don up here somewhere. We'll go down there and... Let the Kendro kill us. Yeah. I think we'll do that. Dang it, man. There's just no way to get out of here. Let me just go look around one more time. I don't want to leave our guy down here if we don't have to, but I'm just not seeing another way out. Uh, this is like the death trap pyramid area. So, All right. So far, the only successful thing we've done is grow a beard. Uh, luckily, early game arc is rough, but we have tribe mates. So luckily, Otto came over here and put a couple beds down for us because we kept respawning in bad places, kept getting eaten by bad things. I don't even know where or how or anything, but I do see oh, there's an eternal anklo right over there. Literally the greatest thing ever. We have to find a way to get to that. That's going to be a thing. All right, so now we did unlock a couple things. Somewhere out there is our hyena dawn, and there's a prime wyvern right next to our base. Are you kidding me? Look at this. Hold on. I'm sending a picture of this to Otto and them. This is awesome. These are the most amazing things, one of the best things in all of Eternal, but not early game when they're right next to your base. That's a bad thing. <laughs> all right, guys, we've been doing a little bit of crafting. We finally hit level 10. So here we go, level 10. Let's go more and more movement speed. We're going to have all the movement speeds. So let's go down here, see what we can learn at level 10. Bam, the bow and the eternal poison arrow. That is huge right there. we got the stone arrow too. Let's see. Uh, pick up relic. That's huge as well. Spoiler bin. All right, so we can make nine whole arrows. And then how many do we have? I think I've got a couple more back there. So let's get our bow. Let's get our arrows on that bow. All right, time to test this out. Hopefully we can do this. How much torpor do you have? All right, he's got 36,000 torpor. I'm worried he's a little bit fast. So he might kill us right away, but that's okay. We're going to at least hit him a couple times here. Oh, no, we might get him. Uh, as long as he doesn't kill us, we can do this. 20. Okay, so 27. 
31. Oh, he might go out. Did it stop right before? Oh, it stopped right before. So just short of 38,000. There you go. That was a really good test, too. That'll actually help us out in terms of understanding how much it is. Now, for taming him, we need 36 Mijos, uh, 45 Azul, and then obviously we don't have the Eternal Berries yet. So let's go all the Mijos. And now we wait. Now we wait. Perfect. Perfect. All right, so we still don't have any of the benches that we can make or anything like that. We have to wait to actually unlock the Eternal Bench. Let's see. Eternal Bench doesn't come until level 25, it looks like. So that's a little ways off. Now the Anki stuff, we can't get a saddle until we get to... Looks like level 36. What is this? I don't know what that is. But level 36 is when we can actually do the Anki saddle. All right. There we go. This will be actually a fairly quick tame here. Yeah, we did it. There we go. There we go. That's huge. This guy will help out so much. Uh, now, if we toggle smelting, can we see the stuff that he crafts? We can't. So I think we got to get the saddle on him before we can actually see what he crafts and what he doesn't. But that guy will help out a lot. All right, guys, there we go. We got our first Anki. We got the Eternal Anki. This guy will help out a lot. We got to get a saddle for him, which isn't until, I think we said level 36 is when we unlock that. So it's a little ways away. Uh, it's going to be all right, though. That's not going to take too long to get. Maybe maybe a couple episodes before we get it. But at least we have him. Uh, we got to get some water. Unfortunately, everywhere is super dangerous. So we got to be a little bit careful going to get water, even. Uh, eventually, we'll have grappling hooks and stuff. So that won't be such a thing. But we'll figure it all out. All right, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the episode. If you did enjoy the episode, make sure you guys hit that like button. Definitely subscribe if you're new. As always, leave a comment down below. Go ahead and jump my, into my Discord if you guys want to learn more about either this server or the other server. Like I said, this one's going to only be open to Patreons when we first start, uh, but we might open it up later on after that. But definitely uh, let me know what you guys think down below. Can't wait to get further into this season. This will be the new primary playthrough for ARK, so we'll kind of have to see how it goes. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next episode of ARK Survival Evolved Eternal Gaia on MNS Astro. Thank you.